Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's about the middle of April now. Here on the UK, we're in lockdown. So the family and I have decided on a little project. Just behind me, you can probably see Jasmine sand pits there. What we've decided to do is build a wildlife pond in its place. As you can probably see, I've marked it out with a bit of string. We're going for a pond that's about two and a half meters by two meters. That sort of uh, idea. We're going to go. It's going to be about half a meter deep at the back, and then shallow up, obviously, so the creatures can get in and out at the front here. Now, obviously, what we'll do, we'll we'll take you right through the process of what we're doing. Uh, we're no great experts. I've built a few ponds in my time, but I'm no great expert. But we wanted to to build sort of a wildlife pond. Um, thought it'd be really good for the kids. We may put a couple of goldfish in it as well, perhaps. But it's going to be mostly uh, aimed towards wildlife, perhaps frogs, newts. Uh, that kind of thing in there, dragonfly larvae. We're not too far from the river, only a few hundred meters from the river, so perhaps some of the creatures will, will come up from there. But uh, really looking forward to it. It's gonna be hard work, obviously, digging it out, but um, really looking forward to, to building the pond and having some new wildlife in the garden. As you can probably tell as well, the garden's on a little bit of a slope. It's sloping sort of right to left down that way. And clearly to, uh, to make a pond, you need it on the level. So what we're going to do is use some of the soil from in the pond to build up this edge around here. Because ultimately we're going to flatten this whole area of the garden off, get rid of the slope, and dig some of the soil from further down, bring it up here, flatten it off. So what we're going to do with the pond is build this side up so that it's level. So we have a nice level uh, area around the pond to help the animals get in. Now clearly I'm going to do some of this on uh, sort of speeded up time lapse footage so uh, you see exactly what's going on so we're going to do it exactly so you can see exactly what goes on from start to finish and obviously first job is to move that sand pit. Well, I'm going to call it a day at that for uh, the first day. We're all absolutely knackered. <laughs> but uh, it's great we've got all the digging done, uh, as you can see behind me. Um, what we've done, as you can probably see over my shoulder here, this corner here, we've gone down to half a metre, pretty much straight down, uh, 50 centimetres, um, and made sort of a quadrant in the corner there. Uh, come out a little way, if I get out of the way, you'll see. Um, and we've come up maybe 100 mil, so that's probably between 30 and 40 centimetres deep, I would say there, uh, for another area. And then we're, I'm stood on one, and over in that corner there, we've made some um, shelves that are just sort of six inches deep, just to put some plants on. 
in pots and in this corner down here if I spin you around you probably see just down here we shelved this up really gradually um, and this is obviously to help access for the uh, small creatures we hope will uh, move in what we're going to do with this the idea is sort of shelve this up gradually and we're going to gravel and, and put some pebbles on here just to to blend it in but uh, i think we'll worry about that tomorrow and lining the uh, the area and stuff so uh, we'll see you back out here tomorrow good morning uh, welcome to day two of the pond construction as you can see a lovely big hole behind me here so what we've got left to do now is we need to line this to make sure obviously that the liner doesn't get punctured when we drop it in so first thing to do is give it a little bit of a brush out get all the loose stones out then i'm going to go around make sure there's no roots poking out no bits of broken glass anything like that in the bottom and after that we're going to line it with sand that's the first thing to do just to build a sand um, i've got a bit of that might run out in which case i'll have to nick a bit out of the sand pit <laughs> that we moved at the beginning um because it's if, if you're not aware, we, we, I'm doing this while we're on lockdown, so we can't go out to get stuff. Uh, and I'm not going to get, you know, just a bag or two of sand delivered. It's just not worth it. So I'll nick a bit out of the sand pit and we can replace that at some point. And then what I'm going to do after that is uh, I've got an old carpet, which I'm going to use to, to line on top of the sand, just as a sort of double protection barrier. Then once all that's done, we can get the liner in. We're going to get all that done today because uh, it's due to absolutely chuck it down with rain tomorrow and I want to get it done today. Uh, we should have plenty of time. It's late morning now. Um, it's a bit colder than yesterday as well, so that'll help with getting not too sweaty. So uh, let's get cracking.
Well, guys, that's just about us finished. As you can see, it's about all we can do at the moment. Well, we're uh, well, we're under lockdown. Clearly, we can't go out and get any plants um, and sort of plant the edges up. Um, but what we've done, as you can see, being it, that it is a wildlife pond, we've um, we've got some of our log pile that we had over the other side of the garden, and um, we've sort of landscaped the far side with with the logs. Obviously, there's lots of wildlife in there already, but I'm sure the the animals that get in the pond will like to uh, like to get in there. Um, we'll plant up this side as well, uh, where the logs were all existing. Um, we'll plant up and have have plants grown over the sides there. That's the idea. Um, you probably see down here we've got this sort of little beach area. We'll extend that as well when we can get some more pebbles, and uh, that'll be the sort of area that the uh, the animals can get in and out. Um, a couple of things to mention. Um, obviously, we're right in a corner here, um, so I had to do a lot of the work you'll probably have seen um, by standing in the pond. Not a great idea when you've just put a liner down. Wouldn't recommend that at all. I mean, that's the reason I had my shoes and socks off. Certainly not a not pair of waders or something on because um, I could actually feel whether I've got any stones on my feet or not. And that's also the reason I put that carpet down. It's not strictly necessary. You know, sand and, and a pond liner would have been ideal. Um, but I put the carpet down because it was going to cushion when I was needed to walk in there. And also, to be honest, we had that carpet we had to get rid of as well. So <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to to it settling down obviously it looks very very new at the moment which is you know which is one of those things with with ponds they do look uh, sort of very new at first and with these other two sides as, as i mentioned i think as you can see over here i mentioned that uh, we're going to do some landscaping the rest of the garden anyway we're going to we're going to level all this off over here um extend the patio level this off so I shall landscape that side when we do that in, uh, in probably in the next week or so. And again, where I'm sitting here, the, the edge where we've gone onto the lawn, the, the, the soil from down there will be brought up here. This will be leveled off and turfed. So not too concerned about these other two edges here, this one, and obviously the one down by my feet down here. Um, that will be for, for future. But now the fun begins, you know, we're gonna perhaps have a lily in there. Um, and as I say, plant up the edges, put some plants in and amongst the um, the logs there as well or grow into the water some marginal plants that we're well not marginal plants plants that like to be next to water and that will trail in we've got um you can probably see on the fence here as well i think that's called a boston creeper boston ivy um and went in there sort of last year or the year before and it's starting to spread out hopefully that'll spread across those logs as well just sort of weather everything in and the creatures i'm sure as i said would love to be in there so we're we're hoping for some uh, obviously frogs, newts, toads, etc. to move in. I think probably probably would be a good idea in say six months' time, once this is all settled in and we've had a chance to do this other landscaping. But uh, perhaps we'll come and have another look at it, and um, you can see how it's come on and how we've we've uh, sort of finished off these other two sides. And as I say, we, we've when we'll, hopefully we're able to get out in the. Uh, do a bit of you know garden center shopping and stuff and and get some plants for the edges and, and the lily in there and uh, we'll come back and have a look how it how it is but i uh, just thought you'd be interested to see how we've done that so uh thank you very much for watching hope you're all safe and well during this lockdown period and uh, i'll see you again very soon